Oh, healing is taking place right now. I believe you are there. Come, you come. Come, you. Come. Sweetheart, come. You can't understand, come. Please, can I talk to you? Come. Come, come, come. come. Can you stand here? Thank you. There's a chair you have to sit on. On your job. No, sit down. There's a chair you have to sit on it. But each time, it's like somebody take the chair out of your. But God said it's time to sit on that chair. Lift up your hands and let the power of God just touch you. There's a chair you have to sit on. That chair belongs to you. And the power of God will touch you right now. And you will sit on that chair. I've seen you twice as I was moving about. The chair comes and goes away. God said it's time for you to sit on it. I don't know which office of the promotion you are looking for. But the power of God said it is time for you to sit on that promotion. The power of God is touching you right now. Everybody on your job side will bow to the pressure. Because there is a force that is coming to the office. That the force will give them reaction. And the reaction is to give way because there's a force coming on them. And life is a force driven. Yes, everybody just uh, the power of God will just touch it. You will see what will happen. The power of God will just touch it. It's a spirit that is taking away her blessing. But the Lord will deliver her today. Can somebody shout amen? Receive it's coming. It's coming on you now. The power of God is coming on you right now. The power of God is coming on you right now. Listen careful. Fight! Is to do the impossible. Faith is not to do the possible. The impossible. That's why you need God. Faith is believing God to do the impossible. If you have faith and you do nothing that everybody, you do everything that everybody does, you have no faith. Faith is for you to challenge what your level, what your money, what your senses, what your, your account, what you cannot do. It doesn't matter how much you earn. If you do anything with what money you have, you don't have faith. There's no assignment God will give you that your money can finish it. I said by faith. There's nothing God will give to you that you can do by your own means except by faith. That except the resource from heaven. Somebody shout amen. amen. Father bless this lady. <laughs> bless her, bless her, bless her. Cause her to walk on that seat. Cause her right now. Yes, the power of God is coming. <laughs> yes. Every unforgiveness is going. Every unforgiveness from your life. Yes. Get up. Oh, get her up. Get her up. I don't like this. Please. Can somebody get her up? Number four. Giving. Say giving. giving. Say giving. giving. Now, giving has a force. Giving also has what? A force. Each time you are about to give. If nothing is moving, you don't give. I'm telling you. David said, I will not give to God what does not cost me anything. There should be a force. A man of God was preaching in a church I visited in action. And then we was talking about money. And I came from different church. And there was a pressure in me to rise up. I didn't even have the money. But there is a force. The word of God drived me and I stood up. Life is force driven. If anything is not driving you to something, because when you move by that force, there will be counter force reaction. Back to you. So your giving becomes a force that activates the hand of God. To respond because force brings force 
He said, the violence shall take it by force. Amen. Who is called Rosina? Who is called Rosina? Who is called Rosina? You understand what I'm saying? What is, who is called Rosina? No demon spirit can stay here. <laughs> Take it back. A friend, of course. I don't want to come and see me after the service. The last thing I want to speak about before we leave here is the force of prayer. Somebody say prayer. prayer. Some of us, your prayer is dead. Hello? Your prayer is what? Yeah. It's dead. Your prayer need reawaken. I preach a message. Awake, oh my prayer. Awake, oh my prayer. The force of prayer. When the prayer force is in you, you can't even sleep. When there's a force of prayer in your life, when your prayer is alive and it's well, and your prayer is alive and kicking, the Bible says in Psalm 8 verse 2, Out of the mouth of babes, I have ordained strength. Now, babies are the most weakest people. They are helpless because they can't do anything. But there is a baby that has a force. In his mouth or mouth, when the baby is lying on his back and start crying, he's looking for attention. His mother has to stop everything and attend to that baby. The baby has a force in his mouth, even though he's weak. He's helpless. He can't do anything. He doesn't know how to pull the pipe, uh, what's called? The, that person. He doesn't even know when he poo poo. He doesn't even know. But he has a force. God said, I have ordained force in his mouth. He said, I have ordained strength in the mouth of a baby. Bishop, I have, God said, I have ordained strength in the mouth of a baby. What is he talking about? Force. Was it? Ah! Nobody will sleep in that house. Nobody will sleep until everybody attend to him. All of us have been babies before, so I know what you're talking about. God said, I have ordained strength in the mouth of a baby. How much more you, the believer? God said, give me attention. There's a force in your mouth. Bishop, can you be surprised that people can spend, let's say, one hour, two hours on the phone Talking, but they can't pray for 10 minutes. They can sit on the phone for a whole day. Laughing, talking, all kinds of things. But say, let's pray. Then all of a sudden, their mouth closed. And God said, I can't hear you. There is a force in your mouth. There is a power in your mouth. If you can 
and learn how to use the force in your mouth, your destiny will come true. I'm here to tell somebody I'm ready to take it back. Every permission I give to the devil, every opportunity I give to the enemy, everything I let the devil took away from me, I am taking it back. Because I have a force in my mouth that I will give God sleepless nights. I will give God day and night to worry. I will give God no rest until he establish my destiny. Can I hear you shout? Somebody is about to take your destiny. Somebody is about to take what belongs to you. Listen to me. Close your mouth. You are telling God, I don't need anything. I had a piece of land where I built a church. By the time I bought it, then somebody came that the land belongs to him. And he is quite a big, big guy on the block. He's a chief. And when he's coming with the entourage and all the paran queens, and, and when the time he's coming to court, he will come with all the body guys and Mercedes Benz and all the stuff. Each time I look at him, I laugh. I say, I have something, you don't have it. You have people, but I have something here. Wow. I have power in my mouth. Yes. I will cry to the heavens. Hallelujah. I wake up every day from 2 o'clock to 6, from 1 to 5, 5 hours every night. I told him, I said, the day they will give the judgment, I will come to your house and serve you, that the land belongs to me. He said, let's bet. He told me, he said, let's bet. I said, okay. I will make sure you are paralyzed. You are sick. You are deaf. You are dumb. Before the final judgment day will come. When the judgment came, I took the policeman to the house. I said, this is the man. Serve him the letter that he's lost the case. He looked at me and said, you, you are a bad man. I said, no, I'm a good man. I have a force. When you push me, I will release the force. Because force must make me react. The Bible says, in Psalm number 18, everybody will tell me about Psalm 18. That is my last scripture for today. My last scripture. So I will begin to pray. And then God will leave the rest for God. Psalm 18, verse number 44. Oh, there's a scripture that is there. Somebody read for King James Version. Psalm 18, verse 44. Uh -huh. Who find it? As soon as they hear me, they obey me. As soon as they hear me. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? As soon as they hear me. They obey me. There are some things that must hear from you. There are some situations that must hear from you. There must be conditions that must hear from you. There are some problems that must hear from you. There are some bad things that must hear from you. As soon as they hear me. Why have no head? Why have they why are they still there? Because they have not heard from you. As soon as they hear me. As soon as they hear me, they obey me. They will, as soon as they hear you. Look, no situation is permanent. No condition is permanent. You must speak to that thing. Jesus said, look at this mountain. Say to the mountain, thou mountain, what are you waiting for? Why are you standing here? You